There are two things that I can guarantee you in today's video. Number one, there will be misplays. And number two, there will be one turn kills with our favorite card, Vine Lasher. That's right guys, today we are playing a one turn kill Vine Lasher deck and we haven't played this sort of deck in a long time, not since Vine Lasher first came out. And this deck is really sweet, built around landfall. It's a very complicated deck to play for me personally, it's just not my normal game style of play. So there will be a lot of misplays I'm guessing today in this video. I'm not even sure honestly how many made it through, but um, it is a deck that works around our Vine Lasher. If you don't know, it's a landfall creature that every time a land hits the field, we deal one damage to the opponent. We're trying to get this down and one shot the opponent very quickly by reanimating a ton of lands with things like the Analyst and the Lumra. So the way this is gonna work is basically on turn three, you're trying to get the Pitless Carnage plotted. This card you can cast for zero later down uh, the road in the game. You can tap all your mana sources to you know float the mana sacrifice all of your lands to draw let's say six cards or something like that uh you know with vine lasher on the field and then you can bring down lumra uh to bring back all six of those lands as well as even more lands uh you know that it mills out and what's already in the graveyard to then you know hopefully one shot the opponent it's that simple that's kind of the idea the combo doesn't require a whole lot of pieces uh but it is kind of complicated the order of operations you have to play things in but we're trying to fill up the graveyard with lands so we've got things like the overlord of Belmerk, which is pretty sweet uh we've also got the ability here to run say its name which is pretty cool anytime you're doing some self mill say its name is a nice little added benefit because because you can maybe end up getting a 9-9 for free, which we did today for very, very cheap. I mean, on, as far as early game goes, it got, you know, got down pretty fast. And then I am running the Case of the Locked lot, uh, Lighthouse, or Hot House, sorry. This is a card that allows us to play additional lands on every one of our turns. And once we get to seven lands, we can actually play lands from the top of our deck and uh, cast spells, which is pretty cool uh, because we are trying to ramp, you know, we want to try to ramp as fast as possible. And this card allows us to do so. And it also gives us a bit of card advantage, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we've got the Terra Tide is kind of our only hope against, you know, decks that are trying to go wide or ag aggressive against us. But Terra Tide does actually minus, uh, you know, toughness, which can get around a lot of that exploitation of red and stuff like that. So hopefully we can get the job done with that. And uh, yeah, I mean, aggro is going to be our biggest weakness for sure, as you can tell. Uh, but uh, the deck's consistency to pull off what it's trying to do is actually pretty high. So I really enjoy this one. and I hope you guys do as well. Uh, hopefully we'll see you at the end of this video, though. Enjoy the games. Peace out. All right, everybody, we are revisiting some landfall today. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been having some real misplay issues today. Uh, this deck is pretty complicated for me to, to navigate. It's got a lot of nuance to it. And so I'm hoping that I can clean those up for you guys and get some good games here. But landfall has been pretty sweet, man. There's a lot of uh, like one turn kill type combos that this deck can pull off. So hopefully we can keep that rolling. Uh, you know, I'm actually gonna go with the Bell Merc here and try to mill myself a little bit. I don't want the Aftermath dying right away. Oh man, we hit some good cards there. I needed the Carnage, really. The Carnage is like one of the key pieces for this deck to, you know, hit that one turn kill. There's a Might. There's another Carnage, that's good. But this comes down to what do I want to play first here? Is it the... Analyst or is it the Vine Lasher? I think it's the Analyst. I think it's the Analyst here. Alright, again, not a great mill there. Let's get another black source because the Pitless uh, Carnage needs double black commitment and so does our Sweeper. Which the Sweeper looks like it might be relevant here. So only two lands in the graveyard and a ton of really important cards that I need. A little bit of a tough one there. All right, they get protection from green so they can get their attack through, which is good, meaning they don't have an answer for the uh, analyst at the moment. But that's two toxic counters on us right now, which is a bit of a bummer. Okay, I like that. So I could technically ramp myself up by two here. Or I can get the pitless carnage ready, or I could sweep the board. A lot of options here, man. Either way, that goes in. Um, I do think I go Analyst uh, Sacrifice here, filling up the board with some more lands. That might just have to be the play. I just don't think I could pass up the opportunity here to take the uh, the stab at ramping. 
And I'm going to sack this, which opens up the tide next turn. Snare. Ouch. Okay. I guess that's a good card for me to recast, though, so it's not the end of the world, and it's not technically a three mana or less creature or spell, so that doesn't proliferate, which is nice. All right. That is, though, a three or less. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sack it now. That stinks. That's going to be three poison counters that we're going to have to eat here. Ouch. All right, another analyst isn't bad. Not bad, not bad. Let's get that tide out. And it's a rot priest. All right, another tide would be good, but Probably not. All right. Um, that's a good card. I need another land. It does trigger the Nissa. The Nissa comes down for three. I hit that. That's four plus the five. It might be time to just go Vine Lasher and Nissa together. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right call, but we're going to go for it. It feels like the right call because I need to put some pressure on the opponent at some point in this game. And just sitting back the way we are right now is not very advantageous for us. Of course, it's a counter spell. Why wouldn't it be? All right. <laughs> All right. In that case, we go here. All right. And then we go get... <clears throat> I think we go get a black source here. And we go black. And we go here. All right. That's the best I've got for this turn. It's not a bad turn, though. I've got a Nissa, uh, Nissa established on the board and uh, Pitless Carnage ready to go, potentially. Uh, the opponent, though, two Rot Priests can make things interesting. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. All right, that means we can do some stuff here. Uh, let's see. I think it's time. I think it's time to try, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hitless Carnage for zero. Hit this for seven. <clears throat> All right. We do hit the bear. Thank God for that. The bear has been hit. All right. We go with this first so the bear doesn't die. All right. The bear hits the field, but unfortunately, I don't have... I don't have the ability to win the game because I don't have the... The uh, lizard. So if I go with this for two, one, so four, eight, nine, four, five, six. Okay, so I could get one lizard here if I do this. If I impend this first, I can go get a lizard. The lizard can get cast for one. I can't kick it, unfortunately, which is a bummer. And then we can play the bear. Yeah, that's right. Boom. Bear comes down. All the lands come back. And then hopefully that can close it out. I don't think it can, though. How many lands was that? It actually was enough, I think. Let's go, dude. We got him to scoop. Let's go, dude. We one turn kill him. I'm pretty sure that was enough. I wanted to count it up, but I'm pretty sure with one land being on the field, that was what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that was more than enough. Beautiful. Let's go, dude. Huge. All right. Now that's how you kick things off right there, man. Uh, this hand looks really good. Nice little early game going on here with this hand. I got the Terra Tide just in case too. Probably going to have to play the Analyst out on two if it's aggressive so we can get a body out to block. Those are some really cool sleeves, man. All right, we got... Oh, no, we might have Boros here. Which means I got to get as many blockers on the field as possible just to kind of absorb the shots here from the opponent. But, yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. Hopefully, Terra Tide can come down on four when we need it to before they get too big. Okay. Analyst is down. 
No attacks. Boros is probably going to be the worst matchup for us we could ever want. <laughs> I'm going to be straight up with you guys. It's just because they're a little too aggressive and we don't have a ton of removal. Um, obviously, it's mostly just our Terratide doing the work here. Okay, so they take the Analyst. They spread out some of the 1-1 counters here, which still makes it uh, the Vine Lasher able to block their lifelink body. Okay. Alright, how many permanents with just the one right now? We gotta fill that up more, man. We really gotta get more in there. Oh, this is tough, man, because I need I need to put another body to chump block with with my analyst here. But if I miss a land drop next turn, we might actually be cooked. So it feels like I gotta hit say its name to get back um a land, right? It feels like this has to be the move. I mean, if we get a 9-9 out of the deal, that'd be pretty freaking sick. But I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, that's brutal. That's brutal. All right. We got a Terra Tide next turn. I got to chump block here and just do what I can. Terra Tide for 3-4. Maybe 5. All right. Terra Tide for 5 should be enough, I hope. Come on. I just don't let me die here. Don't let me die here. Come on. No, it's another pump spell. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Uh, that's brutal, man. That's so dumb. Okay, so that doesn't fly. That doesn't fly. Okay, so I got a block here then. Okay, we're not dead. We're not dead. Somehow we are not dead, ladies and gentlemen. Terra tied for the win. Come on. Come on now. Let's go! What an answer to the Boros game plan. One card in their hand. You'd love to see it. No damage being taken here. Is the heart pounding a little bit? Yeah. You bet. <laughs> you bet it is. Uh, four. Okay, we can actually sack this for more lands next turn. That's fine. You can have it. All right, we got to get this onto the field soon. Do I do it by sacking this or do I go here? All right, I'm going to sack this. Feels weak, but what can you do? Monstrous rage? Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Holy cow. What a card. I mean, it's trample, so if I sack this, they're going to get the damage through. So it comes down to whether or not I want to actually absorb three of this or just go down to one. I think I'm going down to one, guys. Wow, what a game. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Five, ten. If I play this, that's still, what, three, four, five, six mana? Let's do that. Let's get this down. Nice. Say its name. Ready to go. Okay, so I could... I could play this as well and get say its name. And instead of doing that... Yeah, it's probably a better idea. So I can try to go for the win next turn. I gotta get this down to go for the win. Alright, here we go. Okay, I think we might be okay, guys. The only thing that gets us here and, and the only downfall to our potential game is if they give this flying. We've already seen two of those spells, so another one would be pretty... pretty freaking lucky, I'm not gonna lie. But my opponents have been known to get lucky in the past. Alright, where is the Thrice Called? It's in my library. Let's go get my Thrice Called here for... An, excellent body to block with and let's get down the analyst and let's just pray that that's enough i mean theoretically it should be enough <laughs> oh i'm so nervous man what could it be if it's like a if it's just a straight up burn spell dude imagine let's go dude that's what i'm talking about <sighs> one hp in a dream that was scary
All right, we find ourselves in a bit of a weird position with this one. <laughs> Got a lot of good cards that I need, like all the combo pieces, but we're going second and uh, not much for lands. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to get out of the woods a second time, especially going second against uh, a player running a Swiss Spear. That's a lot of early damage I'm assuming we're going to take here. We don't have the Tide in hand, which doesn't make me feel any better. If I do this... A land or... Okay, so I could chump block that. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna have the same luck we had last time, guys. It's just not gonna happen. We don't have Terra Tide. It all comes down to that. No Terra Tide, no win against Boros. That's how that's gonna go down. That's how that works. Dang. I mean, we could get really lucky and get it off the top, but... It's gonna require a lot of luck. Four of them in the deck. The opponent goes pre-combat monstrous rage to find another spell and they get a really good one. Because they have a land. They do have a land. Bummer. Yep. I was hoping they for some reason they take the overlord, but that was wishful thinking. Yeah, that's nothing we can do here. Nothing we can do. Landfall, but it doesn't have reach, so if they give it flying, and then also, yeah, they've got three mana open, two creatures on the field. Good chance I'm cooked here. Gotta try. We gotta try and hope that they made a mistake, but didn't think so. That's a bummer. That's a bummer, man. Boros is just really, really good, man. Um, you gotta have a ton of removal early game in your deck if you wanna, you know, beat them most of the time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully we don't run into that too much. Man, Boros is really tough right now. Um, this hand looks really good. I say really good because I got the Terra Tide, hopefully for some early interaction. I like Selesnya colors. Because if the worst thing comes to worst here, it's probably gonna be like a tokens deck, and if it is, the sweepers are going to look really good. Okay, we got a 3-1 Ward 2 creature. Yeah, this has to be Auras, like another version of Auras. All right, let's grab one of these. Hopefully they can't get this thing pumped up too much here. Um, I'd really like to not see a one drop uh, what is this? Okay, flight. Okay, so that's gonna pump it up by attack power, but not defensive. Okay, good. That's, uh, that's gonna help us with the Terra Tide kill later. But that is four damage over the top. That is brutal. Um, let's go with the Carnage plotting here. And just say go. They're clearly holding onto a protection spell here. Um, a one mana. Yeah, there it is. Rescue. Okay, so now they go to two. Please don't pump its power too much here. Okay, that's going to three toughness now. They're gonna copy an aura here. Hopefully they really pump up the Calyx. Okay, the Calyx gets the flight. Give the counter to Calyx too. No way. Okay, they give the counter to the guard, which is insane. Why would you do that? All right, here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to get really creative here, guys. Let's sack this. I may have to give up a land here. Uh, let's get this down here. Okay, so I can effectively Terra Tide for three right now. That's not enough, clearly. One, two, three, four. We may have to put two, two of these in the graveyard. I hate this so much for us because they have the ability to pump a creature again, which in turn is going to allow the Calyx to put a 1-1 counter on something. And if it's like an audacity sort of effect, I don't know, man. I got to sack two, two lands here. Oh, this is so brutal, man. I cannot believe I have to do this. But we are now at a deficit on lands, which is unfortunate. All right, another one. Let's get down the Nissa here. 
I don't know, maybe getting down the uh, applauded carnage again, ready to go, would have been the play, but ah, shoot, yeah, they get flight. They get flying again. What a bummer. Dude, these aura decks are the worst. I like this one, though, a lot better than the uh, Boros one, that's for sure. Five damage again, though. Oh, boy, they're going to draw another card. This really grinds my gears, guys. Another Calyx and another Honored Guard. That's crazy. The good old Shuffler, man. Sometimes it really gets you, doesn't it? All right, so what do we do here? If we go with Fabled... I get one additional crack the fable so I'd have two additional lands to work with after. I guess it's worth doing though, right? It's worth doing it. Let's go grab a uh, swamp here. All right, and an analyst. That's actually a perfect draw. So we can go like this, send the field away. Man, why does everything gotta be so difficult? Why can't we just get a nice, easy win? You know what I mean? <laughs> really making me uh, have to think about these plays. All right, that answers the field. Let's get this down. All right, we got a lot of lands we can bring back next turn a lot i may not want to even do that though i might want to just like okay good sweet we win all right they they ran out of creatures thank god that was a very scary match up there glad we got out of that one all right we're going first this time i love this hand i like the ability here to ramp uh if possible i'm gonna hold off on the vine lasher until we know what we're up against here because i like to try to obviously one turn kill which means you don't want to hang it out there against people who can just pick it off with removal and they definitely have removal all right um does that mean we want to hold off in the aftermath as well or what yeah probably probably i guess i should have got another swamp there another mistake if we draw into a pitless i'm gonna feel really bad for not grabbing a swamp there all right, that's not that, so that's good. All right, let's get the Overlord down and see what we hit, assuming we don't get countered here. This is probably Demir Toxic. I've been seeing a lot of Demir Toxic today, so. All lands. Impulse, okay. Interesting, interesting. Don't have any idea what we're up against yet. It feels, I mean, again, Demir is usually Demir Toxic. Um, it doesn't feel like that, though. <sighs> the chances of this resolving are so low, but I'm going to try. Wish I had another land in my hand for this to actually matter more, but still getting it down feels good. It's a bit of the long game we're playing there with that, with that uh, enchantment. Another impulse, okay. Top four cards, one in the hand, the rest of the bottom of the library. Not trying to fill up the graveyard. So it doesn't feel like an Oculus or a Jin is in our future here, but there we go. Okay, it is poison. Okay, we know a little bit more now about our opponent, which is good. Does it really matter, though, when we're not drawing any lands? Like, that's the problem I'm having here. I don't know, man. Uh, this is not surviving. Like, we're putting it out there just to get ran over by a simple removal spell. And in this case, it looks like a cut down. But, uh, yeah, that's brutal, man. I, uh, I need lands off the top. Come on, game. Help me out here. If the analyst does get through this turn by some miracle... Nope. Oh, hold on. That's just a pro uh, proliferation tactic. Allergies have been bad today, man. My son's been coughing up a storm, too. We went around and dusted the whole house, but I think that might have been what stirred up my allergies today. Oh man, Vraska's fall. I was worried about that, I'm not gonna lie. I considered playing out the Vine Lasher as just a means to kind of like get around that removal spell. 
Maybe I should try it now. I, I just cannot believe we haven't hit a land drop yet. This is crazy. All right, I'm playing the Vine Lasher strictly because, like I said, another Vraska's Fall, we can sacrifice the Vine Lasher instead, which is not ideal, but it's better than losing the add on the Analyst in this position. We should have already, you know, turned this case into a solved position to, you know, play out the top of the deck and things like that. Such a bummer, man. All right. Up to five. I'm very nervous. Okay, so at the worst case scenario, only one of these creatures is dying. I guess that's a bonus. <laughs> no way. No way. <sighs> that's greedy, huh? That's really greedy. Uh, yeah, it's got to be the analyst hit here. It's got to be the analyst hit here. So many lands. So many lands. We unlock the case. Solve it, that is. And now you're going to send it back? Seems like a mistake. All right. And we got a Pitless Carnage on top. That could be interesting. In fact, that could win us the game. All right, that gets sent back. We go to eight. This is actually very, very close. Extremely close. That goes to nine. I think we got him. I think we got him, guys. Um, so if we get this down. All we gotta do, play this. Play this. Practice. Crack this. Oh, baby. Let's go. I cannot believe we pulled it out. I don't know how we did it. We got absolutely mana screwed that entire game. But somehow, some way, it looks like we're going to pull this one out. All right. So now all we got to do is draw. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mana, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Okay, well, maybe this actually isn't going to work out right this second. Eight mana. So if I do this, I get my... Sack all my lands. Draw that many cards. What could I draw that would win me the game here? I actually screwed this up a little bit, didn't I? All right, let's do it, though. I think we can draw... Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I got four mana to work with here. Let's do it like this. Uh, say its name could get me. Well, no, that's not going to work either. I don't know. Let's sack all of these, though, and see what we draw. Okay. Game. All right, I figured it out. I figured it out. It took me a second. It took me a second. I figured it out. Okay. Oh, that was a nightmare. I don't know what I was thinking there, guys. Okay, so let me let me walk you through why I thought it was uh, closed out here. So the Pitless Carnage I'm used to casting for its plotted zero mana cost, right? And I saw so many lands on the side here. I didn't count them, obviously, or else we wouldn't have been in that situation. But I figured I knew we didn't have lethal off the first Vine Lasher's hits there. But I knew that we had the Pitless Carnage that we could draw a bunch of cards. And I figured I would just play out the Lumra. But I didn't take into account that we'd be short on mana because it was going to cost us four for the Pitlids, uh, Pitless. So I was like, once I got too deep into cracking those lands, I realized what my problem was there. And I was like, shoot, we're already too deep in here. Hopefully we could just close it out. What I should have done there is I probably should have played Nissa. And every time I cracked one of those lands, I would have gotten additional land to cast. And that probably would have helped for the Pitless. 
I'm not sure. I, maybe we did it the right way. We just maybe took a little longer to figure it out. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I, I screwed that one up. Mentally, I screwed that one up. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can clean up a little bit of those mistakes from that last game, man. Uh, but hey, let's just uh, give a quick shout out to the case, man. The case actually won us that game. I knew it would come in handy, man. It's just uh, being able to play additional lands every turn is pretty insane uh, when you're talking about, you know, landfall being your main source of damage. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to... Oh, that can't be blocked anyways. Maybe I should just run this out. Yeah, maybe we should run this out. All right, the Hall Creeper getting through for some damage. I don't know what this deck is, though. It might be Azorius um, Enchantments now that we've seen a white source hit the floor. Drawing a card. And another Hall Creeper. All right. I would imagine we're good to go. It's probably just the protection spell that they're hanging on to at the moment. I love that we drew the, the Tide here. Could be really helpful if it's another Aura's deck. Man, we've been seeing Aura deck left and right, man. Aura decks are everywhere. Yep, it sure is. It is like one of the best things you can do, though. Let's be real. So I'm not like too upset about it. It's, it's what you got to do right now. But unfortunately for them, they overextended and they aren't going to be able to pump this past three power. So this thing's going to take them both out. Everything out. I'm going to get my Nissa back. It's going to feel good. This turn is going to feel good. Terra Tide has been beyond clutch today. Has been pulling its weight more, more than I thought it would. We'll be taking that back. All right. We need some more land, I think, here. There we go. So if I play the land, how many lands are in the graveyard right now? Two... Might still be worth doing, uh, because I could do this, right? Play Vanessa's green. And just go here. Or should I go here and then crack it? I think I should go here. Yeah, I think we should skip the whole landfall thing altogether and just try to try to go big here. There's the GG's. Alright. I don't, I don't know if there was a different line there. You guys can tell me in the comments. I'm not sure, but um, let me rethink about that for one for a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna obviously end that there, but um, I'm gonna think about this one for a moment. <laughs> yeah, after looking at that for a minute there, I think that was the best thing I could have done. I, I counted up the mana, tried to see what I could play beforehand, but no, I think I made the right move there. Opening hand here looks pretty good. I've got the Terror Tide analyst and the overlord can fill up the graveyard and it's gonna be boros again not again man come on okay this one's probably boros tokens though it looks like which is good it does work off of the sunfall though which is annoying uh let's go get a swamp here all right no sunfalls for me please the good news is we can kind of play around it though, right? Like we can really lean into um, trying to one one turn kill them. Just get the combo all set up. <clears throat> all right, let's fill the graveyard up. Let's see what we hit. Land, 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 and an enchantment. I really was hoping for that enchantment in the hand because we really do need a ramp against this opponent, I feel like. All right, well, they got the Erebrasks forged down on three, which is going to be really difficult for us to beat, I'm not going to lie. Okay, that's some ramp. I like that. I do like that. I think I'm going to go for it. Um, let's just pass the turn here. Is this sorcery speed discard? It's not sorcery speed, so let's pass the turn here. And let's try to remember that the Thrice Called is in the graveyard. Another forge. Ouch. Okay, two forges on the field at once and very early. That's the big that's the big key there is that they they got onto the battlefield very early. So that's a very high output of damage and my uh terror tides don't do anything here unfortunately. All right. 
That's a good card. I'm just looking basically for the, uh, the lizard at this point. Uh, Nissa's good. Nissa might get met with a sweeper here or like a lightning helix, but I don't know. I would imagine a lightning helix at the minimum here, right? It's not good. I'll tell you that much. It's not good. I mean, there's six lands in the graveyard, though, which is so good for us if I can get this down. But then they're just going to hit us with a sunfall. It's just going to be never ending, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if this matchup works for us. I mean, I guess we could beat them if we had a little bit more time. But to get the two forges down as fast as they did, it was... It was written, and so it shall be. I mean, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's see what happens. Get lost. I can see a get lost or a sunfall here in our future. If they don't have it, that'd be great, but... Tapping their mana very specifically. Okay, for a caretaker's talent, that's good. Very good. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> and I get lost. Oh my god. They slow rolled us, man. They slow rolled us. Oh, that was brutal. Yikes, man. That's tough. That is tough. All right. Let's go with cracking all of these open. Man, what a bummer. Is there any way out of this? I don't see one, but... Surprised I didn't use one mana there to copy one of those. Alright, so if I play both Overlords here... Like, this one's coming in, this one comes down. That could be good. Assuming there's no Sunfall, of course, but... <laughs> that's highly unlikely. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I could do this again. I could do this again. It's pretty ridiculous. And then maybe I can get to say its name if I'm super lucky. No, not quite. Not quite. I mean, look at our field, though. If the opponent didn't have access to a pure sweeper exile here, I mean, we'd absolutely run him over next turn. But unfortunately, they do, so... Cue the Sunfall. GG's. GG's to us. Oh, man. It's such a bummer. It's such a bummer. GG's. GG's, GG's, GG's. Sunfall is that guy, man. Sunfall is him. <laughs> what a card. That's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This one was a lot of fun, man. Getting back to Vine Lasher and those one-turn kills, man, is just... It's very fun, but it's very complicated. It's not a deck that I'm super uh, well at, you know, versed at playing and very good at playing. But, uh, you know, the ones that didn't even make the videos prior to me even starting recording this video, <laughs> it was a mess, man. I was trying to learn how to replay the deck and uh, made a lot of mistakes. So I'm glad we got this one out, though, and uh, showcased just how good, you know, Landfall can be still. I mean, it's not the greatest in the world, but it still has some playability, which is pretty awesome to see. Um, and I know everybody loves Vine Lasher, so I want to try it again. But anyways, I like the deck a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, hope you guys did as well. Thanks for sticking to the very end of the video. I appreciate that very much. And a huge thank you and shout out to the Mardu Mob. If you guys don't know, the Mardu Mob is the membership program on this channel. So huge thank you to everybody who helps support me monetarily. I greatly appreciate that a lot. And, uh, you know, everything that you guys do for me is not unnoticed. I appreciate it so very much. So thank you. And uh, we'll be back again here tomorrow with another video. And hopefully we'll see you guys then. Until then, peace out, guys. Like a hat trick, yeah. the name is Fizzy No Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah, Ooh. MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. With the upload, man, uh. man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, but the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah.